Jeff Pasquino from the footballguys.com answering your football fantasy football questions as we get into week 11 of the NFL. Welcome back, Jeff. How are you, pal? Doing well. How are you guys doing? We're doing well as uh, we get ready for week 11 in the NFL. We had a game, uh, of course, uh, last night we saw uh, Carolina and the Saints and uh, a couple of uh, interesting fantasy plays in that one. We got some more coming up this week. Let's jump into the quarterback's position and get your take on some of these guys. I'm going to start off with uh, Kirk Cousins this week against the uh, Green Bay Packers. Cousins, guy who had a big game a couple of weeks ago. Do you like Kirk Cousins against Green Bay? I do. I think that their running game is still pretty much uh, it's pedestrian. I don't like Rob Kelly looks pretty slow. Um, he's more of a fullback than a running back. And Green Bay's been able to be thrown on. You saw what Tennessee did to them last week. So I think that uh, Kirk Cousins is a top five option this week. How about uh, a lot of people might have drafted Blake Bortles high. Thought they were going to get a lot out of him. But uh, how about against the Lions this week? Uh, he's got some options there. I think uh, the problem with Detroit now is the first they come off of a bye, and second they've got uh, they've got Slay back at cornerback. So Allen Robinson is going to get blanketed. If you're going to target them, uh, the tight end is always in play. Julius Thomas he even scored last week, and I think Marquise Lee is a great wide receiver to pick up. Hey, uh, Colin Kaepernick against the Patriots. Uh, you know he's uh, gotten a little bit better and better each week in terms of fantasy points. Are you using him against the Patriots in a possible blowout this week? Not if I don't have to. I think that there is upside there. I think that he has the potential to put up good numbers, and you never know what Chip Kelly can pull out of his hat. But I think there are about 15 better options in Kaepernick this week. Hey, how about the people who are in maybe a, fan, a dynasty league or keeper leagues, and uh, they had Jeff uh, Jared Goff drafted. Do you plug him right in or are you uh, wait to see on that one? I think you wait and see. It's the first, the first week for him. I think Miami's a, it's an underrated defense. He's, he's going to have a, a big, big – uh, problem this week. I, I don't think it's a good week to use him at all. Jeff Pasquino, footballguys.com, answering your fantasy football questions. If you have a question for Jeff, 609-403-0973. On the running back side, how about uh, Isaiah Crowell against the Steelers? Uh, here's a guy who uh, came out like a bang. Haven't heard much from him recently. Yeah, he got some big yards early in the season, but he, he slowed down a little bit. And in Cleveland, you know, the game script goes away from them quickly when they get down uh, 10, 14 points. So uh, the, the interesting thing about this game this weekend is that they're expecting some bad weather and a lot of wind, which is always the uh, the worst thing for fancy for throwing the ball deep and kicking. Not that the Steelers like to kick extra points or anything, but I think the Crowell, he's former running back two this week. Um, Steelers are pretty decent against the run. Uh, Ryan Matthews, over 100 last week. The Eagles as a team ran for 208. How about the Eagles' backs, specifically Matthews, this week in Seattle? Well, that was really a game script where they wanted to keep the Falcons' offense off the field. And a lot of us weren't on to that, but it made perfect sense. Uh, but Seattle is a tough place to play. I think they will rely on their running backs, but I think it's going to be more of a mixture with Matthews and Sproul splitting time there. Uh, Latavius Murray's taking on the Texans. That's a Monday nighter. Uh, you know, he's been pretty good since that turf toe. He has been, and the Texans have not done too well against the running game. We have him as a top uh, a top 12 option this week for uh, running back 12. Sports Bash 97.3 ESPN. Jeff Pasquino, footballguys.com, answering your fantasy football questions. We'll get to all the text board questions in just a minute. Uh, a couple wide receivers want to throw your way. Uh, we're looking at uh, how about Eddie Royal now with, uh, obviously, the suspension to Alshon Jeffrey. Yeah, he goes right back into the starting lineup, which may be a good thing or a bad thing, depending on your perspective and how much you trust Jay Cutler. I don't think many of us are going to trust him after what he did against Tampa. But uh, I think both Eddie Royal and Cam Meredith are both wide receiver threes this week against, for, against the Giants, who have an underrated defense. Jeremy Macklin's out again. Who's the guy to start in uh, Kansas City looking at uh, Tyreek Hill? Correct. And he's one of the fastest guys, if not the fastest guy in the NFL. And he can get open deep. Not that Alex Smith really throws deep, but he <laughs> can throw him open, and he can take the ball and run with it. And he gets, he gets a lot of yards after the catch. Uh, what happened to Marvin Jones? Should I play him against the Jags this week if you're an owner? Um, it's interesting. Detroit's really sp splitting the ball, splitting the workload around. Marvin Jones is you know less uh, of a target now than Golden Tate. Go Golden Tate is actually getting a, a ton of targets lately, more than ten a week. Uh, I would lean towards Tate over Marvin Jones for sure. Okay, a lot of questions this week coming in on the Dubell Lumber text board again six zero nine four zero three. 
If you have fantasy football questions for Jeff, we'll get to them since we've got so many questions coming in this week. Uh, That playoff, it feels like fantasy football playoff time for people out there. So we're trying to make you guys happy. So we'll fit in some extra questions this week. Let's start off with this one. Uh, Derek Carr or Russell Wilson at quarterback? Uh, I do like Russell Wilson. He looks very healthy, but uh, Derek Carr is solid, too. I think I would lean Russell Wilson slightly, but they're both top 12 quarterbacks. Wide receiver, PPR, J.J. Nelson or Kendall Wright? Uh, well, neither of them are seeing consistent targets, but I like Mariota, so I'm going to go with the right. All right. Uh, over on uh, running backs, uh, here's one. T.J. Yeldon or Thomas Rawls? Rawls coming back this week. Yeah, I think that Rawls is going to get a lot more work than people think. I lean towards Rawls. Okay, uh, Kenneth Dixon or Ryan Matthews in a PPR league? Uh, I would go with Dixon. He saw a lot of targets last week. All right, Moncrief, Tate, Smith is a PPR. Pick two. Uh, Steve Steve Smith? Uh, This this, this is going to be Smith, so we're going to assume. (sighs) All right, we'll go with Steve Smith, <laughs> and I, uh, I think I'll go Golden Tate as well. Golden Tate, there you go. All right, uh, some more coming in here on the Dubell Lumber Text Board. All right, uh, James Starks or Eli Rogers for a flex? James Starks at running back back. Uh, considering the wind issue in with Pittsburgh, I'm going to go with James Starks. All right, quarterback Jameis Winston or Alex Smith? Uh, I think that Tampa Bay's going to have to throw a little more, so I'm going to go with Jameis Winston. Plus, he can run. Should Jordan Matthews be in my lineup against Seattle. Uh, he, he's probably going to see the most targets. He's the most reliable hands. I would take him as a wide receiver three. All right. Uh, Chris Ivory or Kenneth Dixon? I would lean Dixon. I don't trust Ivory right now. Yeah, Dixon finally had his first uh, pretty good week there. Sports Bash 97.3 ESPN. Jeff Pasquino from the footballguys.com uh, answering your fantasy football questions here. Jeff, Give us a couple of guys uh, that you are getting into your lineup, some sleepers this week. Well, I think you have to consider C.J. Prosites for one more week for Seattle. But I think for Detroit, the guys in here overlooked is Theo Riddick. He's a running back one this week against the Jacksonville Jaguars. Wide receiver Hill, we meant, wide receiver we mentioned Tyreek Hill earlier. Marquise Lee is also in play. I also like to Jameson Crowder. Uh, and it's a perfect week to throw Des Bryant or any of the wide receivers against Baltimore. They're stronger against the run. Lastly, the tight ends are probably one of the strongest weeks ever for tight ends. Martellus Bennett is probably the number one tight end with, with Gronk out, but there are seven or eight solid tight ends, including Zach Miller, that are great options this week. All right, that's Jeff Pasquino from thefootballguys.com with uh, week 11 coming up on us, sneaking up on us this weekend. Don't forget, three games on Thanksgiving. Get your lineup set for that as well. The fantasy playoffs are here. He's Jeff Pasquino from thefootballguys.com. Jeff, good luck to you, pal. Good luck to you and enjoy the games.